Now, once we get our internet order in the system, the next thing that we're going to do is actually add items to the invoice. So to do that, we're just going to select the plus sign just like we do on part sales. And we're going to type in the part number that this customer is looking for. And again, if we're using the web store interface, then you pretty much skip all of this process. But we're going to go ahead and select the item that we want to sell, select the quantity that we want to sell them from, and if we have it in stock, what bin are we likely to pull it from? Are we going to pull it from the warehouse? Are we going to pull it from, you know, one of the bins that we have here in the dealership or wherever we're doing this process? And then we're going to tell it to add and close or add to add some additional items to the invoice. Now you'll notice that on an internet order, we don't have the green button to tell Lizzie that we have the part in our hand because that process is actually removed from this phase and is dealt with on the back end. Uh, when the items are getting ready to get shipped out but to add parts to the invoice itself it's a very simple process